Hi, I'm Jesse Sugarman. Um, I'm working on an experimental documentary about uh, the life and death of the Pontiac Motor Division called We Build Excitement. Uh, Julie, would you play it? Uh, so Pontiac went away in 2009. It got discarded as part of the restructuring of GM. And no one really cared but me. Um, <laughs> and that's why I'm here. And um, I want to help us all remember Pontiac. And I'm doing that first and foremost by opening my own Pontiac dealerships. <laughs> Um, I, this is the only Pontiac dealership in the U.S. It is presently open in Pontiac, Michigan. It's called Pontiac Pontiac. <laughs> At the dealership, I engage in a lot of commemorative acts uh, targeted towards Pontiac. Um, I'm getting, this is going much faster than I thought, really. Um, Oh no, keep, keep going. Uh, anyways, I'm really interested in dance movement and different ways of commemorating things. And um, I'm really attracted to kind of organic choreography because I have nothing I should do with real choreography. And so I've been uh, talking to laid off assembly line workers and um, asking them to show me their um, assembly line muscle memory function. So the last guy was steaming leather onto seats and this woman is installing um, wheel well um, interiors. Uh, I was really stricken by how well they could remember this, um, these motions exactly and repeat them over and over perfectly um, without any emotion whatsoever. Like I never asked them to play it dead. They just like all are <laughs> like instantly at work. And so I was really interested in this sort of like emotionless birth of the automobile because it contrasted nicely with the other body of motion I'm interested in, which is um, people reenacting car accidents they were in. Um, and there's like way less, uh, there's way less muscle memory because of course these things only happen once. And there's a lot more emotion. So I, I was interested in these two sets of motion as um, the capstone of the beginning and end of the automobile. So in addition to this dance movement, I'm interested in building uh, temporary monuments to Pontiac. Um, I've, I've been building monuments to Pontiac out of Pontiac cars. And I like how like, car accidents are a trauma that create an instant monument to themselves. And I've always been interested in the relationship between the accident and the monument. I've been trying to find uh, the in-between in these large sculptures. Um, so some of them are just very sort of pleasant little monuments. Um, Others are kinetic sculptures, um, where... <laughs> where more happens. Um, but in general, I try to stick more to these um, sort of elegant, formal um, monument forms. So I've been working in Pontiac all this month. I wanted to be all creative capital and promote it, but I had to do it really privately. I actually had to do it while a lot of GM admin was on vacation. They go away in July, because I think they would have caught me. Um, so I'm going to go back and finish filming in Pontiac uh, right after retreat. I came straight from there. I'm going straight back. And then I'm going to film the next section of this at um, High Desert Test Sites in October. Um, one minute. And um, after that, I'll probably go back to uh, Pontiac in the winter. Um, so I'm getting kind of close to being done with all this, and I need to start thinking about places to show this, and that's where I'm asking for help. Uh, this is gonna be 
more of a gallery installation, possibly multiple screens, less of a thing I would be mailing to uh, film festivals. So if you, know, if you see a place for this in your life, uh, please let me know. <laughs> also, if anyone knows of a car dealership that is either empty or just owned by someone with really reckless business practices, please uh, <laughs> tell me. Um, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure.